What's up party people, Android Stud here, and today I have the OnePlus 6, and I wanted to show you how to install the Android P developer preview for the OnePlus 6, and take a look at some of the features that it has. Now, I'm going to tell you guys right up front, not responsible for your devices, something goes wrong, you're on your own. I'm going to show you how to do it, I'm going to show you what features Android P has on the OnePlus 6, the other thing that I'll say is that the Android P developer preview on the OnePlus 6 is a, is, is a preview. It's a beta, but it's actually not even a beta. It's more like an alpha, if that. It's not, doesn't have a lot of features like the Pixel 2, the Pixel 2 XL, or even the Sony XZ2, or even the Essential Phone. When you look at the Essential Phone, it has a lot of the, uh, I'll show you right here, has a lot of different things like the gestures, where you could swipe up, you can get your most recent here, you can go through all your stuff, you could do multi-window here with the split screen, you could do a lot of different things. You have your volume, volume slider here on the side, so you could set it to ring, to be on silent. There's a lot of different features on the developer preview on the Essential that the OnePlus 6 is not going to have. Now, having said that, Let's go ahead and get into it. I'm going to show you how to install it. It's real. It's a lot easier on the essential phone. You have to unlock the bootloader. You have to flash the OTA. OnePlus 6 has made it a lot easier for you. So if you want to try it out, give it a whirl. See what you like. See if you will see what you don't like. So the first thing you want to do is I'm going to leave links down in the description, but you got to go to the OnePlus forms and then you got to you got to download a file here. You got to go down and I'll leave the link where you, you can download this file so that you can uh, you can do your thing. Um, but this is the the Android P here ready to get started on Android P download here. So I already downloaded it to my OnePlus 6. So the next thing you want to do once it's downloaded to your OnePlus 6 is you want to uh, open your file manager. Boom. Okay, you're gonna go to downloads or download. You're gonna find your OnePlus 6 Oxygen um, Android developer preview, which is right there, Oxygen 6 DP1. You're gonna highlight that. You're gonna go up here and you are going to cut that and move it to your root directory. The root directory is when you open up your file manager it's all the folders so you want to put it there you're going to cut it from there and you're going to go back to your root and paste it see where paste is right there boom paste it complete it so then you want to go out of that and then you're going to go into settings you're going to go to system update and then you're going to hit that little wrench icon on the top right and you're going to do local upgrade you're going to hit local upgrade and then you're going to see your file there. Oxygen. OnePlus 6 Oxygen Developer Preview 1. You hit that. Install now. Local upgrade. The system will update. The system update will not affect your data. However, to ensure data integrity, please perform backup. That's the other thing I'm going to tell you guys. I'm going to warn you. Back up your phone. Back up your pictures. Back up your text messages. Whatever you, whatever's sensitive to you back it up don't come leaving comments down below oh I, you you didn't tell me to erase all my data it will erase your data possibly so back up all your stuff so then you hit install now and then it's doing its thing all right once the file downloads onto your oneplus 6 you want you're going to want to power off the device don't hit reboot don't not hit that reboot button you want to power it off so once you power it off you're going to hold the volume down buttons, the volume buttons, and the power button at the same time. And then you should get the recovery. You want to boot into recovery. And there's your recovery. You want to go into recovery mode right there. Hit the power button. And then it'll go into recovery. So remember, you want to power it off. You don't want to hit reboot when you're doing the system update to the Android P. Once it's powered off, 
you want to hit power button and the volume buttons at the same time then you will get that menu then you want to go recovery mode you go volume up and down on recovery mode and then you're gonna get here so then you want to go down to wipe data and factor reset go ahead and pick that you have an option for no and yes you want to pick yes you go up and down with the volume button power button to select yes and then it's gonna reboot or it's gonna wipe data for you and then you wanna hit the volume button to reboot system now once you hit reboot system now it's gonna reboot and then we're gonna check out Android P on the OnePlus 6 alright so now on Android P you're gonna get a little bit of a notification here saying you're on the Android beta program you're enrolled in the Android beta program some other information here saying it's for developers and enthusiasts to try out the pre-release versions of Android so you're just gonna hit OK then you're gonna hit start uh, some other things if you want to do I'm gonna agree to all of them that way we can get into it they have a user experience system stability program push notifications I'm in we're gonna start as new and then we're gonna connect to Wi-Fi and I'm gonna set this up and we're gonna check it out all right so now I got everything logged on here and we're gonna take a look I'm gonna take you through a run through of Android P all right so the first thing you're gonna notice is the shade here when you bring it down the notification shade it has a different little look here it's a little cleaner it's got that Android P look you got your Wi-Fi your data Bluetooth flashlight all kinds of different things you got your settings button right there and it's a little different than the regular OnePlus 6 setup on Oxygen OS so then the other thing you're gonna notice is that the launcher on here is the OnePlus launcher it's not a pixel launcher it's just a regular OnePlus launcher so you're you're basically dealing with just having a, a regular launcher on your OnePlus 6 so that's the first thing that you notice is that you're not getting that gesture launcher like you get on the essential that has the Android P where you have the gestures that you swipe up you can go in between different apps like this as you see now the gestures on here there aren't really any so if you open up let's say messaging right and then you have uh, the web right and you want to go to recents it's just gonna have the vertical look it's not gonna have that horizontal look that you get on Android P on the pixel or the essential phone where you can swipe through your apps like that and you don't get that um, you don't get that 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 pill bar on the bottom you just get a regular OnePlus launcher now the other thing that you don't get is the volume button when you do do volume you're gonna get that slider at the top so it's basically the same slider that you had before but on Android P on the essential when you hit that volume you get that little menu bar there and you could set that to you know silent ring vibrate that kind of thing so you don't get that on 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 here you just get a regular slider at the top now the one thing you do get from Android P is that button here if you want to power off you want to hit restart or you want a screenshot you want to hit that screenshot boom there you go you are good to go now the other thing that the the Android P on the one plus six does not have is the gestures um, that you get on the regular uh, you know on the regular one plus six if you go here bust button and gestures there's nothing empty so you can't even you can't even uh, set up the gesture button or anything like that or get any kind of gestures on your phone so uh, if you go to system gestures there's nothing here so you can see that right there so you know there's some there's not a lot that this gives you so I would recommend if you have the one plus six that you stay on 8.1 Oreo on the oxygen because it just doesn't have a lot of features that um, the Android P on the pixel has um, 
so it's just it's very very alpha stage right now not a lot of uh you know when you go in here in the pixel the pixel the essential phone and you want to go you know if you want to do like a split screen you know how you can go here hit that app hit split screen boom you're good to go but on on the pixel on the uh one plus six it doesn't have that option so you're kind of uh you're kind of limited when it comes to, to the one plus six um features there's not a lot of features very basic and it's an alpha build so you're not a lot of the stuff doesn't work uh, especially the gesture buttons and plus you don't even get the you know you don't even get that launcher that android p offers so but that's it man i just wanted to show you how to install it i wanted to show you that how it runs on the one plus six not a lot of features i wouldn't install it right now if you want to install it to kind of check it out you can but it's really not ready for it to be a daily driver the the essential phone i use this as a daily driver and it works fine there's some things that maybe don't work but it's very minimal we're on here it's not really uh it's not functional but that's it man follow me on twitter android stud instagram google plus and facebook if you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Like this video, man. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this Android P developer preview on the OnePlus 6. That's it, man. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.